Alright, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to make a application launcher that looks good in the Oculus so you can leave your headset on. It's just kind of a hack right now. I'm working on maybe putting together some sort of program, but for right now it actually works pretty good just as icons, so I'm going to show you guys how to set it up. So first thing you're going to want to do is set your background to either a black background or a stereoscopic image. I took a Minecraft background, split it down the middle, and kind of created my own little 3D back background there so um, you can do that first set your background whatever you want to do and uh, next we're going to go to configure so let's uh, set this puppy up so it looks pretty good so you're going to want to right click and go view and you're going to want large icons as well as align to grid um, the align to grid doesn't work all that great off the uh, default settings so if you go into uh, personalization with the right click there and you're going to want to go into window color do the advanced tab and in your item here you're going to want to go down to icon spacing for horizontal set that uh, I put it to 16 you can fiddle around with it uh, it's a little bit twitchy so I did 16 for horizontal and uh, 20 for vertical so set both of those up and uh, you can get out of here now save your changes and uh, Next, we're going to want to create a bunch of icons. So you're going to need duplicate I icons as your shortcuts. So if you have a Rift folder like I do, you can uh, have all your games in here. Go in, uh, right-click on your thing, create a shortcut. Control-C, Control-V, create duplicates here, and then drag them over to your uh, desktop. So I'll the line on. Now, you're going to want to set them up in, uh, I do 9, 3x3. Three three and uh, each icon goes in the same quadrant kind of on the other side so I believe my center is about here so I'm gonna put these ones up here first so what you're gonna want to do is I created a couple different folders and uh, keep anything to the top you want to only see in 2D and uh, so I got a shortcut folder here with a bunch of copies of shortcuts as well as the icons I use so these are my main desktop icons all duplicated so I'm gonna get rid of this one and I'm gonna copy all of my icons. So you're going to want to create all these. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass, but you know. So now you bring them in and you want to align them. So just put them out here, kind of create space between and set them up so that they look the same but opposite. Now while I'm doing this, I'll kind of go over the naming of them. If you have uh, multiple shortcuts on a desktop, it's not going to like having the same name. So I was fiddling around with doing like a period at the end or something to make it look not too bad, but I found if you did uh, a space between and not on the other side, like first law and put a, even if it's only a one uh, word one, just put it in the middle, kind of gives it a cool little 3D effect and it uh, doesn't conflict, so it works pretty good. Uh, just about done here. Alright, what did I do? Okay, so now if you're watching the video, you can toss your rift on and kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like for you. Um, I think there's about center for me. And uh, let's see what it looks like here. Oh yeah, sometimes it keeps a little uh, border around. You can tab out. Kind of is annoying. Yep, that looks good. Uh, so that's pretty much the final result I got right now just for messing around with settings um, looks pretty decent and like I said I got maybe a little app coming to uh, automate this but who knows lots of other cool stuff to do alright that's it